Hi, Brad of Silver Lining Daydreams. Today we're going to unbox, put together, and review a 30-inch outdoor fire pit made by Hampton Bay. This outdoor fire pit is called the Piedmont. We purchased it at Home Depot, and we'll have a link in the description box below. It comes with a grilling grate, mesh spark screen, and also a fire poker. So let's get right into this. If we had our way, we would rather build something out of stone or brick and really make this a nice permanent fire pit. But because the pool is in the middle of the yard, we just don't have a large backyard anymore. So when the grandbabes come over, we want to be able to move this out of the way and that way we have more space to play. tip is not to tighten these up until you're all done. Just put them on loosely so you have a little free play. Definitely need a good big tip to fit in there nice. And remember to stagger these three tabs. I need a piece of your honey, we're almost home. I can make it here on my own. So right on the three tabs. You'll be the first one, I'll be the last thing to say what's on your mind again and again. And not to do it all, but I can promise. Keep on going, cause we're almost home. This is for taking the mesh cover off when it's hot. So you can swing the cooking grate obviously. But you can also take the cooking grate off. Then you can put the cooking grate directly onto those tabs. You can cook that way. They suggest that you just put vegetable oil on the grate, then put your food on and then cook it. And they suggest to protect the bottom of the fire pit from corrosion to put about an inch, inch and a half of sand down. This is just washed clay sand I have. I think we'll do about an inch and a half. Actually, it might be a little more, but that's okay. A little well done. switched over to my iPhone. They look pretty good. Let's see if I can get closer without burning my lens. Just to give you an idea. Oh my, does that look good. So let's flip one up and take a look. Not quite ready. No. Nope. I think the hamburgers are ready though, so we'll get those off. Let's see what that looks like on the other side. Whoa. can't see it let's see yeah it looks pretty good they look great let's see what this looks like now it's getting there let's move them to the center Get over there there we go okay I think they got to come off whether they're done or not let's see one 
perfect. Ah, they're just perfect. Yeah. Okay, they look fantastic. They've been out just a little bit. Let's get a top and a bottom. Well, it looks great. Should be plenty of salt on there. I'm a big ketchup fan. All right, I feel kind of awkward eating it on camera, so let's take a bite over to the side here. Oh, my pickles, that's good. Mmm. Wood fired, baby. Tastes like smoke and wood. That's why I'm not putting much on the burger. I want that wood fired, that smoky taste. I don't want to put a bunch of junk on there to mask it. Oh, yeah, baby. A little ketchup. Mmm. Mmm-hmm. I'm uh, doing a collection of bags. Acorn bag, bark bag, and I don't know what those are called. called. Pine needles. Pine needles. Bag. And now we're doing the pine cone bag, but we have, I don't have enough. And now we're going to do leaf bag. Oh my, I need one more. Thanks. You're welcome. So we have all the bags sorted out. Nice. Of what we found. So I'm super pleased with this. I like that it's got this ring around it, kind of keeping the grandbabies away from it a little bit. It's a good size. It's expensive. That's the con, of course. So I think these are going to be a weak point right here where it keeps on this outer piece here. I think the combined, because this is heavier now, it has sand in it and it has wood. And remember, we want to be able to move this back and forth in our backyard, so if we want to play out here. So with the sand, especially if it's wet like it is right now, it's a little heavier. So I think that's going to create a stress on these, and these are going to rust out over time. And of course, the bottom, that always corrodes. But uh, time will tell. Will the sand help? I don't know. I've never done that before. So thanks for watching our video. Subscribe if you haven't yet, and we'll see you on the next video. Been swinging for about 20 minutes and when the swing stops this little sweetie peety starts to cry.